joys of three dogs on the leash. Thing is, what they want to do is they want to wave out, then entrap you. There's something that you should not do, so overstep the line as I did, and then keep them walking in front of you, and keep one on the leash on a shorter leash than the others, especially the one that is wanting to weave and also go in front of the adults and then walk back again. That's the best way to do it. But it's also eye candy. Yeah? To see uh, adult male, adult female and uh, the young pup. See what she does when she gets in front? Gets into trouble. Because if she gets caught between the coupling chain, then it is uh, quite hard to get her off because then she will intertwine and it will make it harder and harder to un untie them again. But this way, she still wants to go to the front, of course, because all these dogs are so dominant, they want to stay on top, be the first, and therefore they pull quite hard, which can also be a benefit because they uh, get excellent musculature for that, from that, and good neck muscles. But also, uh, they will keep their toenails very short because it just gets into mechanical resistance with the road. Come. See what you have to do, even if she is in front, then you have to keep her really uh, close so that she cannot intertwine. She wants to play fight with the female. Hey! Hey! Lopen. And then getting them back into action. And the little one at the back again. That's the way to do it. Hope this helps. Have a great day. Bye bye. Working two working terriers is not easy because they're quite <laughs> temperamental. But walking with trees is uh, quite a challenge, so to say. The trick is that you don't have them intertwining with all the leashes all the time. So the little one runs to go up front and then confront the, the adults again to show her her face and to just uh, play, fight, etc. But if you keep her a little bit shorter on the leash as they're doing, I'm doing now, she will not intertwine with the joining uh, belt and you have all the fun. So, that's a tip that I can uh, give you. And now I'm doing three of this uh, black felt areas. Now you see what she's doing. Huh? And now she is not able to do so because she's kept a little bit short. So now I'm walking three walking terriers on one arm, as you can see. And uh, it's, it's doable, so you can do even more. But uh, the easiest way is, of course, doing one dog two dogs in separate lines are also uh, a good thing but once you're going to three I think you need a coupling leash that I have to still have functionality that you can also use your other hand to pick up something or uh, open doors etc but this is something that I want to recommend and always uh, like that you can still have one on arm uh, used for other purposes than dog walking Hope you like this video, have a great day.